All right, now we're doing eight cube Pythagorean triple. This is by LXC, and eighty-seven percent of people like it. We'll be given a th we'll be given an array of three non-consecutive integers a, b, and c, and we're going to determine if they form a Pythagorean triple. Pythagorean triple is formed when a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the largest value of a, b, and c. For example, here's some examples. Uh, return value true if it is, and false if not. Uh, as it says right here, All right? So first things first, we're going to use a little destructuring assignment syntax, uh, which is a JavaScript, pardon me, a JavaScript expression that makes it possible to unpack values from arrays or properties from objects into distinct variables. So we're going to use it to make that uh, integer thing into A, B, and C, all right? So we're going to say let A comma B comma C equal integers all right now we've got that going on we're going to say return a squared plus b squared equals c squared and let's check it out oh, oh, oh. let's check it out test it out oh it looks good so attempt it uh-oh, uh-oh, what's the problem here? Looks like old Alexi likes to put some of them out of order. So we're going to have to do a little sort action. Uh, and we're going to use the sort method, which sorts the elements of an array in place and returns the reference to the same array now sorted. The default sort order is ascending, built upon converting the elements into strings, then comparing their sequences of UTF-16 codes. Basically, that means that even though one 100, 000, even though 100,000 is a is higher than any of these numbers since it starts with a 1 it's going to go in front of these numbers so we got to do something special with this arrow function syntax uh, which is like sort and then a b and for parameters and arrow and then an expression right here so let's knock that out real quick and actually we can just say integers dot sort and we can say a comma b and so whoa, 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 whoa. We can say a comma b inside of it, and then we'll just say a minus b. And it, I could go into the whole thing. Basically, if it has uh, negative numbers, it'll push. Uh, it'll do like if if this number is negative, it'll uh, go in ascending order. And if it's like b minus a, it makes it a positive number. It'll go in descending order. So we do that, and basically, it probably should work now. Let's see. There we go, and there we go. So we're going to submit it. All right, and it pretty much just looks just like this one. Uh, we didn't put these uh, things right here, and also we changed it to uh, to destructured assignment syntax pretty much just like this one. So it's pretty much exactly like this one. We just uh, left a couple things out, didn't change it to nums or anything like that. So let's go to mine over here. Uh, just me, best practice in my opinion, very much like this one, and we'll see you next time.